Yo, yo, what's good, everybody, man? It's your boy, Seaboy Balling, coming through to give y'all the NBA picks of the night. You feel me? Um, my record is 140 wins and 73 losses. I mean, nigga ain't perfect, you know? I'm not going to win them all, you feel me? But if I was betting, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? I'm on the plus side. That's all that matters to me, you feel me? Um, anyways, you know, it's seven games on tonight, you know? Post a comment, join the discussion, subscribe to my channel. Y'all know the rules. Hands down, man down. <laughs> I'm just playing, man. But anyways, um... The first game is the Magics versus the Cavaliers. Uh, the Magics is definitely an improved team. Y'all know that. Y'all see that. The addition of Turkoglu, Richardson, and Arenas has definitely been a smart move by the Magics. They're on a three-game win streak. Uh, Dwight is averaging 21 points and 13 rebounds a game. This should be an easy win for the Orlando Magics. I'm taking the Magics to win this one, even though they played last night. Uh, the next game is the Boston Celtics versus the Pacers. Uh, Rajon Rondo is out. Um, his absence is definitely being felt. Um, the, 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 the Celtics had 19 assists, barely surviving in, in Philly um, two games ago. And then on Christmas Day, they had 15 assists and a loss to the Magics. They need to find a way to score the basketball easier. They need to run more set plays that's going to lead them to the goal. You know what I'm saying? They cannot expect to continue playing like this. You know what I'm saying? And I know that they're saying Rajon going to come back, blah, blah, blah. But they have to play without him and run their plays. You know, I'm taking the Celtics to win this one, even though I'm an anti-Celtic fan. I must say that because, you know, I don't like the Celtics. I'm a Laker fan. So, but I'm taking the Celtics to beat the Pacers, no doubt. The next game is the game of the night. New York Knicks versus the Miami Heat. I respect LeBron for beating us by 16 points. Um, his team beating us by 16 points. And I respect him from having it, for having a triple-double. Um, now he's going to go against the New York Knicks at home in Miami. I'm taking the Knicks to beat this one. Not because I don't like Miami, but I like the chances of of New York beating Miami because they have something to prove. New York, um, Miami beat them last time in the Garden, uh, at the Garden. You know what I'm saying? So I expect them to come back and beat Miami. Amar is probably going to score 30, 40 points, but the key factor is is Felton going to help him. Amar's team is willing to help him. It's just they need more offensive power. They need to to help the guy more offensively. He can't do all the scoring. You know what I'm saying? But I'm taking the New York Knicks to win this one in Miami versus the Heat. Uh, the next game is the Bucks versus Chicago. The Bucks players are banged up. No Jennings. Who's going to... Man, who's gonna guard Rose? Who's gonna match up with Rose? Carlos Boozer is is beast molding. Uh, the the Bucks are the Bucks are three and nine when they're being out re rebounded. The 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 Bulls have been rebounding their opponent by six rebounds every game since Jakeem Noah left. So just tell the Bucks. Fear the deer, they're three and ten when they're being out rebounded, okay? I'm definitely taking the the the, the the Bulls to win this one, you know what I'm saying? The next game is the Raptors versus Dallas Mavericks. Dallas Mavericks, one of the hottest teams in the NBA. They're the second. They have the second best record next to the San Antonio Spurs. No Dirk for the um. No Dirk for the Mavericks tonight, though. He had an ankle injury. Bar Bar Barney is is uncertain for the for the, for the Raptors tonight. Butler, 21 points. Jason Kidd. Missed the triple-double by one rebound. That's Mr. Triple-double right there, Jason Kidd. Dallas wins it versus Toronto. Definitely without, without dirt. You know what I'm saying? The next game is game of the night. Uh, the Los Angeles Lakers versus the San Antonio Spurs. Uh, the league's best versus the NBA two-time defending world champions. Um, these two teams won the, 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 the championship 8 out of 11 in the last 11th season. They won the championship 8 times. You feel me? So, you know this is definitely a game that I have to watch. I must watch. I'm gonna watch. It's a Laker game. I mean, every Laker game I watch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Kobe is very disappointed in his team right now. And I won't be surprised if he scored 40, 50 points tonight. You know what I'm saying? Because that's like me. I'll put the weight on my shoulders if I have to. You feel me? And I feel like that's what Kobe going to do tonight. So I'm taking my Lakers doing this one. If we lose, I'll do, I'll do push-ups for every point we lose by. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely taking the Lakers. Uh, the next game is Portland versus Denver. Uh, mellow or no mellow, I'm taking Denver. The Portland 
Trailblazers, they um Lamarcus been playing pretty good, but Denver have more firepower than the Blazers, and um I'm definitely taking Denver Nuggets with or without Melo. If Melo plays, definitely Denver. If he doesn't play, definitely Denver. And that's my NBA picks of the night. Go ahead, join the discussion, post a comment, let me know what you think. You see what I'm saying? I will.